Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about my latest setup. This is a 24 volt 7.2 kilowatt hour solar power system. In this video, I'm going to show you the safety devices which I have connected and how to wire this uh, 24 volt setup so that you can make your own DIY 24 volt solar power system. But first, let's go up to the roof and have a look at the panels first. Okay guys, so as you all can see, I have got two huge 595 watt solar panels in addition to my old 150 watt and the 100 watt panels so these new these two new ones are going into the MPPT so the solar power reaching these panels are going down these set of wires which will go down and have a look as it goes into our solar shed Okay, so you all saw the panels from up there and the wires come through this, uh, through the roof and they are first going through our first uh, safety device. As you can see here, this is a breaker, a circuit breaker to disconnect the solar power from the battery. On top of that, in parallel, we have this surge protector device so as you know the panels are on the roof and if lightning strikes you don't want that lightning power to come through the wires and into your inverter so for that we connect a surge controller which redirects the current outside through the earth so next let's go and open this up and see how this uh, the wires are uh, connected. Let's open this and we'll now take this cover off. Right, just keep it here. So as you can see the solar panel wires go directly into this uh, circuit breaker and the switch disconnects it from the wires which lead all the way down to the MPPT charge controller. So as you can see there are two wires going parallel here to this side which is the circuit breaker and from there an earth wire takes any excess current all the way out to earth so thereby diverting the uh, lightning strikes away from your circuit. Next these wires go all the way down to our MPPT solar charge controller. I have made a separate video on this, uh, you can, which you can check uh, on my playlists. And from this MPPT charge controller, the wires are going straight down to our batteries. Let's take this out. So what I have here is two 24 volt MIPAC so sealed maintenance free batteries. These are gel batteries and 200 amps each so with this setup I have basically around 5 kilowatts of stored energy of which I can use around two and a half kilowatts every day so these wires are here connected in this ba these batteries are connected in series through this wire and we're getting 24 volts which is going to this pure sine wave inverter. This one here, which is actually upside down, is a 5000 watt pure sine wave inverter. You just heard the noise go down. That is That was from our, um, this uh, MPPT, which was actively cooling. Today is a cloudy day, but yet we are getting around 500 watts. Okay, so from this inverter, this inverter is able to handle 
5000 watts peak but on average around 2000 watts continuous power and then from that this wire is going to a home setup what I have here is again a mains breaker a circuit breaker and a trip switch so what does the trip switch do so if we zoom in onto this diagram you can see that there's an additional circuit which is going between these two lines and if by any chance that there is a difference between these two of around 30 milliamps it's going to close the circuit sorry it's going to open the circuit and the whole thing will shut down so this is to prevent electric shocks uh, from happening and what I have here is a 16 amp circuit breaker so if say one of your uh, appliances shorts this will uh, off the system let's have a look inside this where I have added another special device let's go and open this up as well okay so the now now the covers are off and as you can see this wire comes from my inverter and it's going into this control box you can see I have connected the live and neutral and with that there is this device. This is a metal oxide varistor. This prevents uh, voltage spikes on your system, especially when, especially when you turn on and turn off your devices. I have made a separate video regarding this and how it protects your devices and appliances and especially the inverter uh, during voltage spikes. Okay, and then we have a common ground which is connected to the mains, the home ground and it's going as a separate line separate from a, a surge protector one because we don't want the lighting to go and touch uh, this other earth. Okay, and yeah, from here it's going to a home appliances. Okay, so with this setup, I'm able to run my home appliances such as rice cooker, induction cooker, fridges, and fans even throughout the night. I hope you like this video. If you have any further queries regarding this setup, please feel free to uh, mention it on the comments below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it among your friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.